government's response uh, concerning the former president's statement. But then tonight, a Form 2 student at St. Matthias Busia School was shot dead during day three of the anti-protest held in Busia town. Another 12-year-old child has been admitted in Busia General Hospital with gunshot injuries in his thigh. Now, several schools in Busia town have also been closed after police lobbed tear gas canisters in the school as it is past the protesters. And as Bramo Bwire reports, a sense of normalcy started returning in the larger Nanza region, which experienced a running battle between police and protesters. Day three of Wazimio anti-government protests in Busia. Running battles between the jobless corner youths and the anti-riot police. In the ensuing confrontation, a Form 2 student at St. Matthew's Secondary School was shot dead. Another 12-year-old child is fighting for his life at Busia General Hospital after being shot in his thigh. This on the last day of the demos called by the Azimio coalition. Despite the assurance from the internal security and education ministries, lessons were suddenly suspended in Busia after police officers threw tear gas canisters as they dispersed protesting youth. Many students were left nursing wounds. Baadhi ya mashule zimelazimishwa kufungwa kwa sababu ya wanafunzi na walimu kurushiwa tear gas. Shule ya St. Matthias imefungwa, Burumba imefungwa, our Lady of Mercy imefungwa na baadhi ya mashule ambazo ziko within Busia municipality are also at the risk of being closed down. In Bondo, Siaya County, angry protesters touched two houses at a local chief's home accusing the chief of cooperating with the police to betray the protesters. A group of few protesters in Nyalenda and Kondele engaged police in the running battles. Within the city center, calm had resumed with a few shops opening, as new allied leaders assuring the residents of their continued struggle. <laughs> And here in Nairobi, most areas.